Hey everybody, it's Loomer. So last month I had the awesome opportunity to go to a AC4 preview event up in San Francisco um, where they had a near final build of the multiplayer actually available and so I captured a bunch of footage from there and throughout this whole week I'll be bringing you guys tons of coverage of various aspects of the multiplayer. I'm really excited for it. Um, I thought for the first video I'd kick it off with a look at Smoke Bomb which is of course pretty much the most controversial ability ever in the multiplayer and kind of the changes that they've made for it in Assassin's Creed 4. Now just a, a note that this is not the final build so some things could change but it's pretty much going to be what you'll see in the final game. So um, looking at the screen here you can see that off the bat it doesn't look like much has changed it's more or less like the smoke bomb has been in previous games. They bumped up the cooldown by five seconds. Um, the big change that you can't really tell immediately from here is you might notice in the description it says there's a short delay before it explodes. Um, so they've actually put the delay back on the smoke bomb and it's much more significant than it ever was in Brotherhood. This is the longest delay that smoke bombs ever been given. Um, I'll let you take a look at it in action from a wanted match that I played up in this uh, San Francisco preview event. So you can see my pursuer comes around the corner here. I throw the smoke bomb down and you can see there's a very significant delay and a nice visual effect to show off that the fact that there's a delay as well. And so I think this will help a lot um, in people complaining about people getting killed through a smoke bomb when they don't realize there's a delay. You can still get the dodge animation, um, but it's, you know, they have to catch you on the tail end of the smoke bomb, which happens a lot later now. So I think, you know, I talked to Tim, uh, Tim Brown, the lead game designer in the multiplayer about this. Um, and this is really to address the number one complaint about Smoke Bomb, which is getting caught in that dodge animation, feeling like, oh, I had this kill, but like it's just like this last second thing. And I know a lot of people complain about this. I was never really that, I always thought the complaints like that were overblown a bit. Um, but I think if you are going to put a delay on the Smoke Bomb to address this, this is definitely the way to do it. Um, to make it visual, really exaggerate the delay so people don't think it's just lag. Um, and, uh, you know, I've, it takes a little bit to adjust to it, I think, because you have to use Smoke Bomb a lot more preemptively. The idea is to make Smoke Bomb more proactive uh, use of it instead of reactive, I guess, is kind of how they explain it to me. And Tim and the other devs swear by it. They say it takes a little bit to get used to it, but once you get used to it, it's so much better than it was before. Um, I'm holding off judgment. I'm optimistic. I think it's, uh, I think, you know, pretty much all the good players will adjust no matter what the changes are. I had fun with Smoke Bomb while I was using it uh, in these matches. I'll hold off final judgment until I played for a lot longer during the final game, but um, that's going to pretty much wrap up the look at Smoke Bomb. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this change, if it's a step in the right direction, if you're excited for it, if you're sad about it. Um, and stay very, stay tuned very soon for tons of other videos uh, about Assassin's Creed 4 multiplayer this week. I'm really excited for them. See you guys soon. Bye.